Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Penford Sports Podcast. As always, I'm your host, Adam Malachuk. We got Austin Rahilly joining on Zoom this evening because apparently he's too cool to come into the studio. So whatever, Austin. Um, we got some star-studded lineup, uh, a star-studded lineup for guests this week. As always, we got Zach Snyder. Say what up to the folks, Zach. Folks. What? I just wanted to say what up to the folks. Okay. And then we got brand new to the show, Mr. Mitchell Mullet. How we doing, Mitch? Good. How about you? Well, I'm doing better than your services. Um, and then Austin from Zoom. Oops. What's going on? You know, you know. I'm excited for this uh, podcast. Unfortunately, I cannot be there tonight, but let's rock this roll. Yep, and rocking and rolling is exactly what we're going to do. Let's talk about it. I mean, the Super Bowl is on Sunday, and I could care less for either team, um, to be quite frank with you. I would prefer if they both lost. Um, (laughs) But, of course, we're going with the Eagles here. Well, yeah, I have to go to the Eagles because I hate Kansas City that much. I mean, like they they they're they're trash. Like Travis, I hate Kelsey, I hate Patrick Mahomes. Travis Kelsey's a douchebag. Patrick Mahomes sounds like Kermit the Frog. Um, <laughs> I mean, Zach, you you said that the Eagles and the Chiefs were going to the Super Bowl, and I think three four weeks ago. I mean. What are you? What are you looking to happen in the Super Bowl? What do you want to happen? I just want the Lord's plan to be carried out. Whatever that is, it's going to be beautiful, man. We got Philadelphia, the team to beat all year round. Jalen Hurts has been tearing it up. He also tore one of his ligaments or some. Some happened along the way. He's bounced back. He's back in the game. Um, and then you got the Kansas City Chiefs, whom everybody hates. Yeah. Now we're going Patrick to the man. Mahomes. Oh, gosh, Zach. Your service sucks, too. We're going to go to the man, the myth, the mullet. Podcast. I just had to kind of lay down the facts and just let him know that. Like, like Do you think he knows he has bad service? More help from, from the rest than. Uh, I, I did not know I had bad service to just carry on without me. I'll come back in a little bit. Yeah, all right. So we're going to the man, the myth, the mullet. Mitch, I mean, what are you thinking about the Super Bowl? I think it's going to be a good game all in all. I mean, especially offensively, you look at the weapons that Kansas City has and the weapons that Philadelphia has. But I'm going to take Philly. Um much like yourself, I'm not really a big fan of either either team. I'm a Patriots fan, so seeing Kansas City winning like they have been the last few years has been a little frustrating as a Patriots fan. But I'm going to take Philadelphia. I think it's going to be a good game. I'd say probably 31 to 24 would be a score prediction for me. Wow. Uh, or actually, did I say 34 or 24? 31 24. Wow. Now, let I'm me taking ask, Philadelphia. Let me ask you this, Mitch. I mean, we haven't had you all podcast season, but I do want to ask, I mean, are you like the majority of people in the world and like almost everybody on this podcast and have an absolute disdain and hatred for the team that is the Kansas City Chiefs? So I don't hate the Chiefs. Um I mean, I don't really have a reason to hate them. Like I said, it's been frustrating me being a Pats fan because the last few seasons, Kansas City has just been killing the AFC. And, I mean, if you go back, let's say, a decade, at least 10 years, it was mostly the Patriots that were running the AFC. Yeah. So, I mean, they were constantly winning their division. It was only <laughs> yeah, it was pretty much only the Patriots. Patriots. <laughs> it was a lot of it was a lot of the Patriots, and you know the the decline happened obviously when when Brady left and Gronk left and Julian retired. 
And, you know, obviously they lost Bill O'Brien or not Bill O'Brien, um, Josh McDaniels, Bill O'Brien's new offensive coordinator, but it just, it went on a, uh, and went on a decline, the Patriots. So it's been tough seeing Kansas city kind of tearing it up out there, but credit to them, man, they're a good team. They got a good organization. Speaking of well, retirement, um, go, going going back to uh, – I, I kind of got to put it to you guys. You all said that Brady was – well, not all of you, but Austin really genuinely thought that Brady was going back for one more year to the Patriots. And that's not happening because Brady announced his retirement, in his words, for real this time, um, and then followed it up by like the next day or a couple days later, he posted a uh, – a picture in his underwear. Um, and uh, basically flipping off the Patriots. And, and we know Robert Kraft, the uh, rub and tug king, wants Brady to come back and, and you know, and retire a Patriot. But that's not going to happen for him. Um, you know, Brady loses his, his, uh, his only game ever to the Dallas Cowboys and calls it quits. No revenge, nothing. I mean, what 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 are we thinking about that? I mean, oh, he this man went through a divorce, lost his wife. It was all, definitely it was definitely a season for him. I mean, all to play the worst season of football in his life. In his life. All of that to play the worst season of football the guy has ever played. Really, Brady? That's how you want well, to go that's down? Well, not true. I mean, he didn't what? know that going into the season, though. Like, you got you got to think about what happened in the beginning of the season, what transpired throughout the season. Like, Brady doesn't go into any game to lose. That's just not his mentality. Nobody goes into the game to lose, bro. <laughs> Nobody says, I'm going into this game think, and, and I'm going to lose. Like, that's not what anybody wants. I think, I think what Mitch no. is saying, going through a divorce in the middle of the season compared to being married in the, you know, in the in the beginning of the season, it's a huge, it's a huge, um, a huge loss for Brady. So that's why I think he, you know, going through uh, um, all that in, in one season, it definitely gets to you. Well, yeah, Listen, definitely. I don't care what you're going through. Have you're the greatest of all time at, at anything. I don't care if you got a divorce, if your mom's dying. I don't care what happens, man. You better get your little arse out there and toss the pigskin around because that's what we pay to do. That's what you're paid that's to do. Own. That's what people want to see. People don't care about your divorce with Giselle. I've been in her DMs every single day since the divorce, and I haven't gotten a response yet, yet, keyword is yet, but I will one day because I go out there every day and I'm committed. Something Brady lacked this season. Apparently he wasn't committed enough. He wasn't committed enough to put everything else to the side because he played like dog water. And don't even get me started on his receivers. They were they were terrible. Mike Evans put an absolute display of sheer disgusting performance this year. But as a whole, the Buccaneers just didn't have a good season. It wasn't just Brady in the offense, the defense they sucked. too. This is why it's I'm not confused. Just the offense. This is no, the but coach this is well, the coach is an idiot. But this is why I'm I'm confused as to, you know, why he would let that be his final season. Why not go play for a team that is at least going to give you a shot? Like, you know, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I just think it's interesting. So he's retired, you got man. ESPN? What? I just got a notification from ESPN. What is it? Derek Carr is going to visit with the New Orleans Saints. I think that'll be a good place for him. But time for Jarrett Stidham to shine. I mean, <laughs> no, I think and, someone else is going to Raiders. I think it's going to be Rodgers. It should be Brady if he didn't retire. That would be I think a good it's going fit to be Aaron Rodgers. Devontae, again. Devontae Adams wants uh, Aaron Rodgers there badly. Devontae Adams, Brady. So, well, Darren Wall. Mm hmm. We'll see what happens. It's I not mean, a bad listen, offense. No. We all knew Derek. Carr, we all know Derek Carr isn't Gosh. going back to L- L- L.A. or not L.A. Uh, Vegas. That's that's for dang sure. Derek Carr was out, man. 
And Derek Carr, let, let's just say he put it on a no, display exactly. during the Pro Bowl. Like, during, like, the Pro Bowl games and, like, during the, the passer uh, competitions, he put on a display. And uh, there, someone made a comment. They're like, oh, ha- did you ever throw that well in, in Vegas on the Raiders? And he looks at the guy and goes, no, that's probably why I'm leaving. So I think, I think Derek Carr is a good quarterback, to be honest with you. Um, I think he's a good quarterback, and I think maybe he'll thrive in, in um, Louisiana uh, playing for the Saints. So I think that's a good move. I mean, where, where, do, we think that, where do we think that Aaron Rodgers is going to le- legitimately land? Because, you know, there's no chance – He's going to um, – he's no. there's no chance he's, he's staying with the Packers. I'd be shocked. And he already said he's not going to San Francisco. So what are we What are we thinking? I'm thinking, you know, like you said, Raiders would be a good fit for him. Um, I'm thinking maybe Jets. Jets? That's what I was thinking. That's, That's what I've been seeing all over the internet. Is this him going to the Jets? I don't Jets see, or Raiders? I don't see. I I think it's going to be the Raiders before it's the Jets. Personally, um, that's just my thought. Um, where's Lamar going? Because Lamar is there's no way he's staying in Baltimore. Where's he going? Austin, as you're mm. stuffing your face right here, pointing your finger. We're gonna let Mitchell give a little response, and then we'll come to you. So where do I think Lamar's going? Yeah, where do you think Lamar's going to end up, Mitch? Uh, I don't know, man. I really don't. There was, you know, again, being a Patriots fan, I mean, I felt everything about the Patriots. There was a rumor going around that, yeah, yeah, he might stand with the Patriots and, you know, be this, like, running back, quarterback duo type thing. That's not going to happen. I know it's not. It's just not realistic. Patriots. I really guys, don't know. You guys are stuck with Whack Mac. Mac, listen, I'll tell you something about Mac. I want you to tell me something about Mac. He had, he had a good rookie year. He had a good rookie year. This yeah. year, he, and I think a lot of this fell on the on the coaching staff, the offensive coordinator. They had Matt Patricia as the offensive coordinator. He's a defensive coordinator. He's, he's not an offensive coordinator. I don't, I don't think they blended together. I just don't think that was it. And you also got to think of it this way. In three years, Mac's going to have three different offensive coordinators. That's a lot on a quarterback. That changes that 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 changes a lot of things. It changes um, things, but it doesn't give you the right to suck. He doesn't really suck, though. No, I mean, he, he made the playoffs and he made the Pro Bowl his first year. That's not sucking. Yeah, it was a fluke. That's pretty good. It was a fluke year. This year, possibly you could argue that, but a no, lot no, of it no. falls Last in coaching. Last year was a was a fluke year. His first year. Or whatever year was his first year was a fluke. How year. how do you how do you think that's a fluke? How was that a fluke year if he followed up and he made this play or the wild card this year? Bro, you know who won games? Zappy. Zappy hadn't played those games, bro. Zappy hadn't played those games. The Patriots would have had a fat L. He beat who? Who did he beat again? Zappy. Uh, Maybe so, one or two games against subpar teams. No, they were like good teams that Zappy beat. Who were they? I'm gonna. Look I don't up, remember. Look it up right now. The Bears. Okay, the Bears are not a good team. I'm sorry. Bears were they were, they were doing okay, and then they just fell. Yeah, I mean they, they had a few good games, and then they just played. That was it. The, I mean the Bears are they're really nothing to brag about. Only reason why oh, I know that. Oh, dude, he also played against the Packers. Dude, he beat the Packers Lions. He, he beat the game. Lions twenty nine to zero. The Lions are a legit team. If Mac was playing that game, I guarantee, I absolutely guarantee, the Pats would have lost that game. Guarantee. The Lions aren't really a legit team. What? They're not. They're really Are not. You that like absolutely That's kidding me? Absolutely blasphemy. They got lucky. They got lucky. 
Are you kidding me, bro? You no, I'm not. Lo- no. Bro, you lucky, can't. Luck lucky, off lucky, the. Lucky is you being alive right now, Mr. Moa. That was That's what lucky is, bro. The Detroit Lions get it done, bro. Get it done. Holy cow, Mitchell. I, I can't believe you just said that. I, that is, dude, the highest scoring Better offense for the majority of the year is lucky. Is lucky. All right, Mitch, listen. What do you think? Don't, I just don't think they're a great team. They went nine and eight. They're not, they're not that great. I'd say they're around the Patriots. No, they're much better than they the Patriots. They had roughly the same record. They're much better than the Patriots. Me as a Patriots fan. So why did they lose to the Patriots? They're much better than the Patriots. They're much. They're much better so than the Patriots. So why did why did they lose to a backup quarterback? If they're so good, how did they lose to Bailey Zappi? Then this is my whole point, Mitchell. This is my whole point. Bailey Zappi is a better quarterback than Mac Jones. You just proved my point. Bailey, Zappi- it's not just offense. You're you're basing this whole thing around offense. There's a, the whole defensive side too. What does that Billy's have to do? Defensively, Patriots were okay. Yeah, the Patriots' defense was all right, but Mac Jones sucked on the offense. You're not you're you're trying to make it something more than it is. All I said was that Mac Jones is a junk quarterback, which most Patriots not, fans though. well most Patriots fans think he is. That's what some I'm, do, some don't. Uh, all I know is Austin. That's, you that's were very, very Austin. Split. You were at Foxborough. Austin, you were at Foxborough where people were literally booing Mac Jones and stood and applauded Zappy when he came into the into the game. Is that correct? Everybody was Zappy, Zappy. Yeah. yeah. So you tell me the, and how the long hardest, did that last? The hardest core fans. The hardest core fans in Foxborough. Knew what was up. They know that Mac is trash. Whack Mac, bro. He's Whack. not trash. How, how can yeah. you call someone trash when he makes the Pro Bowl his first rookie year, makes playoffs his first rookie year, and fluke. then the second year he plays, he gets as far as the wild card. Like, it's how is fluke, that trash? Bro. And it's I not. just explained this to you, Mullet. The reason he made the wild card was because Bailey Zappi won get key games. That's the reason okay. they made the wild card. So and guess what? Break, they they lost this. in the first round of the wild card. Let me break this down here. Mac Jones is still new. Okay, he needs time to develop. That's that's the only thing going for him right now. As of right now, he is a junk quarterback. Yes. Yeah. As of right now, but yeah. give it five more years, he could develop. Or he'll end up like I don't know about like, you, but I don't live in the future. I live in the present. And the present tells me right now that Whack Mac sucks. He's do you kid. realize what three offensive coordinators changing in three seasons does to a quarterback? Do you realize that I was the only o- offensive coordinator for my team in the Penford Turkey Bowl? And I threw dimes. Do you realize that Zach Snyder was the only offensive quarter, uh, coordinator for his team in the Turkey Bowl and he, he led him to the champ? You're comparing a flag turkey bowl to the NFL. Exactly. And, and here's my point. And here's my point. If us with with no how like you no play we No no listen. Here's how I'm gonna compare it. You ready for this? These guys hold jobs. Their whole job is to coordinate plays. You think Zach and I do that for a living? No. Job. That's their job. That's what they're paid to do. If you're a good offensive coordinator, you can make the quarterback make good plays. If you're a good offensive quarterback, you can put stuff out there that the quarterback is going to be able to connect with. This whole, you know what three does for them? I don't give a at crap. At the beginning bro. of this, at the beginning of this podcast, I told you Matt Patricia was not a good offensive coordinator. I told you that. Congratulations! Then why was he the offensive coordinator? I don't know. Ask Bill Belichick who fight who who uh, hired him and then fired him. He wasn't. Well. Maybe because he knew the Patriots system. I don't know. I'm not an inside if, Patriots reporter. I don't know. Listen, if that's but going your, through three offensive coordinators in three seasons does a lot to a quarterback. I know someone who is an inside Patriots reporter, and that's my good friend Adam Schefter. And I talked to him before this podcast, Miss, just to get a little background info on you, my guy. And it turns out 
that you're a Detroit Lions hater, you can get the hell out of the building. We don't, we don't like that here, man. I'm just kidding. It's all love, I'm not baby. a hater. Listen, I just, I just, Mitchell, you want to talk about good. offensive coordinators? Let me tell you this. Do you know what it's like to lose your starting QB? And then you know what it's like to lose your second string QB? And then you know what it's like to rely on your third string to get you anywhere in the playoffs? Oh, guess what? San Francisco did that. San Francisco made it real far in the playoffs. Had so Brock did the Purdy, Patriots. Had Brock Purdy not go, gone down, that's a different game. Possibly San Francisco in the in the Super Bowl. So I don't want to hear like you are you are dealt the cards you are dealt, and it is your job to overcome them. It's not your job to blame them. You can't blame anyone for your own actions, and that's what you're essentially doing for <coughs> Mac Jones. You're using the difficulties no, he had. Other teams have had difficulties this season. Other quarterbacks have had difficulties. I mean, we're talking the greatest of all time. The greatest of all time was a second string that had an opportunity. So I don't, I don't want to hear about most out of his opportunity. Yeah, and you know what Mac Jones doesn't do? Make the most out of anything. Okay, that happens around the league all the time. Exactly, all the time. All the time. You it think, happens all the time. Think, so how are you going to so how are going to use that as an excuse failed? if it happens all the time? I'm saying with other teams in the league. Okay, hold on. Give me give me a second here. So let's take Geno Smith for for example. Okay. He was horrible his first 7 seasons. Look at him! Look at him this season. He was the boss. He was good. He was he he, he came together. He was good. Yeah. So it takes it takes and he was he was amazing at West Virginia. But then again, NFL is a whole different level so, than college. Yeah, because whole okay, different. because Mac Jones got a got a chip with Alabama, but that never impressed me because Alabama is a running football program. That's what they're Happens. known as. Have been for years. for years. Like they're a running football program. If there's no, one... they're not. What do you mean? No, they're not. No, they're not. Wait, what they do you are... mean by running? They're balanced. Like passing running or like a running, like good organization running. Like they run the football more than they throw the football. It's a fact. They That's true. they are a balanced team. They're getting more there bounds. They're getting Always more bounds running. now, but when Mac was there, however many Mark years ago, Abram, Trent no. Richardson. There's a reason why these guys won the Heisman Trophy. It's because Alabama was feeding them the rock, bro. Like okay, when when Derek name me Henry, one aside. Mark, name me aside from Jalen Hurts. He doesn't count. Count. Name me one Alabama quarterback that's actually good in the NFL right now. Because sure, Jalen Hurts but- doesn't count because. He got out of Alabama because he got a be- he got benched there, and he went and went to a team that appreciated him. Name me one Alabama quarterback that is doing well right now in the NFL. Jalen Hurts. I said That's aside. From, I said aside from Jalen Hurts because Jalen Hurts got benched by Alabama and went to Oklahoma. Okay, by so Chua. when when Mark Ingram and Derrick Henry were in college. Yes, they're a run heavy, run heavy um, but name, offense. Okay, but name me one quarterback from Alabama. I can't. I can't do that. Good. Like right off the top, of my you can't. It's Tua. It's fucking. Oh Dude. yeah, Tua. If if if, but then they started blaming stuff on when he started to suck. They said, "Oh concussion. Oh concussion." This man has had more concussions than I've seen in the whole NFL this year. What? It ain't Those adding up. Sucks. Okay, so going back to if the you Lamar get Jackson, concussed, think- if you get concussed that much, it does mean you suck. <clears throat> Throw the dang football away, bro. Holy cow! It does mean you suck. Quarterback shouldn't be getting that many concussions. Oh, Dude, anybody can get a concussion anywhere on the field. 
Not after taking care of the football, they're making plays. You know how many get, times linemen get concussions? How many times did Tom Brady get a concussion? Linemen no. hit people. Not many. That's what they do. That is what linemen do. Mac Jones. Exactly. Uh, not Mac they Jones. Get Two concussions. They get concussions. Dude. Tua's one job is to throw the dang football. If he's got a big 600-pound lineman coming at him, the first thing I'm going to do is ditch it. Not let that big monster truck hit me. Are you kidding me? I know what it it feels like to hit the ground. It's not great. You got to get rid of the football, baby. You got to get rid of the – I almost got sacked by Bobby Costine, but I got rid of the football. Mitch, why weren't you at the Turkey Bowl? Why weren't you there? That's what we want to know, Mitch. I don't like flag football. I like real football. Joke's on you. It was two-hand touch. <laughs> we didn't want and to we made those. And we made those two, it's not real And football. we made those two, two, two touches count. When Zach said he got sacked, I put as much power into those two-hand touches as possible. Okay, but Austin had a spin move that was point zero 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 five miles per hour. This wasn't some game. Okay, Zach but... Yeaton won the MVP. I ran for All three right. touchdowns. Let's be honest here. If Zach it was threw actually... fifty yard touchdowns. If it was tackle, Zach Snyder would not be living right now. This ah! is fact, dude. Austin, can you imagine if I actually? Got to tackle Zach. Most Bro. everybody, most everybody would have got their bones broken because it's it was something I fantasize at night. You're a psychopath, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we would have got our, our bones broken in half because it was 12 degrees outside. And Mitch, you would have had a great time. You would have had a great time. Football. But there let was me a lot ask of chipping you, going on. But let me ask you this, actually, time. Mitchell. So we've we've maybe next year. I don't know if you watch the podcast or not, Mullet, but um, we've mentioned you quite a bit. We've also mentioned the Southern Vermont Storm. What are you going to do now that they are no longer a thing next season? They're taking a year off. What are you going to do? Um, I'm in a weird spot with that. Mm. Um, transfer portal. I have portal? two options. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. Mitchell Mitchell Mullet um, is in the transfer portal. I have. If I have anybody wants options. him, come get him. Um, I can play for the Troy Fighting Irish, or I can play for the Glens Falls Green Jackets. Mm. Um, the Glens Falls Green Jackets just moved in the, to the NEFL, which the Storm played in. Um, and then the Green Jackets are playing in the GDFL, which is still semi. It's still semi-pro football, but it's at a higher level. Um, and What's they're going to your- be traveling. <laughs> A lot. What's your end goal with this mullet? My end goal with playing football? Well, with playing semi-pro. Oh, I just play it because I love the game. You don't think you're hit hit in the NFL yet? I don't have an I don't have an end goal really. I just like to play. I love the you, game. There's to, no NFL in mind. I try to hit the pros. Guy, I would never make the NFL. Why not? Not big enough. Not strong enough, not fast enough. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to put you there. Barry Sanders. Yeah. Not big. A lot of He's people a lot are faster. Uh, Mitch. Walter, pa- Walter Mitch. Page. We could never make the NFL. Mitchell. I could make – the listen. farthest I could make it would be a practice squad for an arena team. Listen, Mitchell. Um, Do this Outside for Outside of college. Drop a lot of weight, put on a lot of muscle – Start That's working on your say. speed the, and become a running back. Hit the back. gym. Train in the offseason. Like, literally train this year. Yeah. Why would I let you get – It's ironic that the guy with fatty liver disease is going to tell you to hit the gym, right? <laughs> how, how would I manage to go to the NFL? I'm not even in college. We're trying to get so – I'm not going to get looked at. You don't There's have to go to college. The There's walk-on tryouts. Uh, dude, the walk-ons hardly make it, dude. Uh, I disagree with you there. Not many. Not Baker many. Mayfield was a walk-on in college. J.J. Watt and was a walk-on I'm not in college. Mayfield. I'm not Baker Mayfield. How do you know? You look like because him, I'm not but Baker a little Mayfield. bit shorter and a little bit fatter. 
Yeah. I'm much better looking for starters. Well, yeah, he he but do anyways, be kind of he do be kind of. I would I would never make an NFL roster, and if I did, it would be a practice squad dummy. Mitch, I think you're selling There's yourself no realistic short. Chance. There's no realistic chance I would ever. None of us would well, make the NFL. I could as a quarterback. They, I, there's just yeah, too many a, games on Sunday. Yeah, keep dreaming, buddy. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, okay. Let me play this song. Not to Mitchell, do my own you. horn or anything, but I think I'd probably have the best shot out of all of us. Let your dreams you say fly, that? Mitchell. Let those dreams fly, hey, my Mitchell. Dreams are just to play football. My dreams you can head to the NFL. Football, you can do this, Mitchell. I have faith in you. This is your moment. This is your time. You can do anything that you put your mind to. And believe me here. Believe me here. You have the power to get it done. And listen. Are you reading all of the script right now? Woo! I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can So Mitchell, don't sell yourself short. Um catch your dreams. I'm not. Bro. Make them true. It's not my dream. It could it's not be, my dream. Though. How do you know it's not your it's dream? It's not my dream, though. What is your dream, dream, Mitchell? It's not what I, want. I don't want to go to the NFL. But what is your dream? Still working on it. Don't know yet. Man. Still working on it. All right. Well, we're working on it. If you don't have a dream, it sounds like you got room for a dream. So why can't the NFL be your dream, Mitch? Mm. Just not my dream, man. Why not? Why can't it be your? Why can't it be your dream, bro? From a realistic standpoint, I wouldn't make it. Zach, are you calling? Zach, are you calling for an encore? Do you want an encore? I'm so glad the audio was bad for your singing. The yes, what? It's making my day. The What's audio? going on with Baby Ray? What? I didn't say anything. Well, don't worry, brother, because it's picking up crisp and clear on what I got it going on now. But yeah, what is going on with Baby Rahilly, Austin? What up, Bentley? Is his first name Ben and his last name Lee? No, it's Bentley David Rahilly. And he is a <laughs> unit of a man. Oh, my gosh. This is the first time he hasn't looked at the camera and screamed ever. Up. Oh. Here it goes. Here it goes. You might if you start singing. No. I- I'm oh, yeah, going to put him down for a nap. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, let's talk about um, – Let's talk well, about I, I this. Need to, I need to finish talking about Lamar Jackson. Um, <laughs> well, he changed, that was like he 20 minutes back. ago. That was 20 minutes ago. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. So, Fighting he Irish, Glens Falls Giants, is that what it was? Green Jackets. Ah, the Green Jackets, bro. Right on. Which team are you okay. thinking? I'm leaning towards Troy. Yeah, it's closer. Um, it's closer, but like I said, it's a it's a it's a traveling league. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I didn't mention that, but I gotta travel. If I say I gotta travel, if I decide to play for them, I'd be traveling to Buffalo, Syracuse, bro. Is that Rochester? Worth it is it is it worth it? I know you love the game, bro. Um, but, I don't know that that's where I'm stuck. It's a yeah. it's a better it's a better team all around structure wise. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of great talent, and I think I would learn a lot. Now, and that's what I want to be around. I want to be around the guys that are experienced. Because how I'm, often did you start? I'm all willing to learn. How often did you start huh? at Southern Vermont Storm? Not very often. So let me get. Which this. I, I don't. I don't. I don't say that like because I sucked. I just had – there was a lot of guys that had uh, connections with the coaches. So you're saying it was That politics. went a lot deeper than just football. So you're saying politics was involved? 
Oh, Austin can probably tell you that for sure. I mean, yeah, because you both played together. Let me ask you this. Mitchell, would you say that you were better than some of the starters? Or Austin, let me ask so you. Would, would you say, say that Mitchell I was, was better, better than some of the starters when you were I would there? say that I was better mentally, not physically. A lot of these guys don't keep their cool, get pretty pissed off easily. They start cursing out coaches, and yeah. they just completely lose their shit. They're not acting I don't do that. like out there. No, I actually, I, I play the game. I, I play it in, you know, a respectful way. I go out there. I do what I'm told to do. And when I come off, I come off. If yeah. I get pulled, I get pulled. Like, yeah, it sucks. But I'm not, like, freaking out about it like a lot of these other guys. Right. So, like, there's a lot of, like you said, there's politics. There's favoritism. There's a lot of drama. But so at the end of the day, what keeps me going back is just because I love the sport too much to give it up. Even practice. Like, if, I just like to practice. What if we got you, like, a VR headset where you could, you know, play VR football? <laughs> it wouldn't be the same, dude. I, no, I no way. Not even close. Well, Mitchell. I, I, I want wanted you to, you to come out to a game last year, and you didn't. Listen, I love you and all, but I'm not traveling over an hour to go to a game. I almost did. I almost did. Um, it's not an hour to Bennington. Yeah, but I didn't want to be forty five minutes. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, Mullet. I did I just didn't want to go. Um to be fair. I know I wa- I watched you play in high school. I know you're good. But I didn't here's my thing. I didn't want to go out there to watch you not start. That sounded dumb. That sounds dumb. Well, you would have seen me play. Yeah. For what? One play? No, for like the third, fourth quarter. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. I'll get my chance. Yeah, but I don't want to sit there and watch these sweaty ass forty year old men who work at Domino's get out there and get their body juices and sweat all over each other for two quarters and then wait for mullet to get in. That doesn't sound enjoyable to me. Listen, when I went and watched you play in high school, you started, you were good, it was fun to watch, but I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna front I'm you're not going to catch me. I think you're dissing somebody. something that you don't know. I what? I think you're dissing something that you don't know. I'm not dissing anything. I'm spitting the facts. Like I, I, I listen. It's just not. It's not something I'm going to watch. Like it's just not me. Um, like I could go. To, I work in Albany. I could go watch arena football, which would actually be entertaining because those guys are professionals. You know, I could go to U Albany and watch college football. Like you know. You know. So why don't you? I probably will this year. I'll go with some coworkers of mine, but um, dude, I got too much going on we, to go. Dude, I got too much going on to watch semi pro. I know. I if there wasn't, you're just a ball, hater, bro. Through and if, through, you are just a hater. It's, it is what it is. Well, it's time for if the revenge because you want to hate on the Detroit Lions. Yeah, maybe I am a hater. No, I don't. Maybe no, I am I a don't. hater, bro. I just don't think they're a good team. God forbid. And I don't think that watching sweaty 45-year-old men who will never do anything good in football in their life but play for a dog water semi-pro team is entertaining. I don't want to watch it. Dude, unless – why would I watch – like, dude, these guys are you guys that can't give up – don't know what dude, they you're can't, talking no, about. Here's what I do know. Here's you what don't. I do know. These are guys that can't give up the fact that they peaked in high school and they were good at football at bummy high school – and play for this league because they want to be the guy. When here's the reality, bro. If you were the guy, you'd be in the NFL. That's all I'm saying. If you were the guy, you'd at least be playing for like oh teams Lord. that people actually go to watch. Dude, you don't even have you guys play at Willow Park, you bro. Willow Park, bro. That's a public your, park. That's yes. not a stadium. It's not an arena. That's not bro. true. We own we the storm owns Willow Park. Yeah, and you have three that's bleachers. Our own bro. Field. As a matter of fact, that's the only field that's owned by a semi-pro team in our league. And some field it we is. We own that it's field. Ju- we don't have yeah. to rent the okay. field. Yeah, and it's one It's one plot of grass, bro. Those, they they have own like their own bleachers. field, bro. Give them a chance. <laughs> I'm not they giving them a chance, bro. And Bennington well, is one of the no last one else places. Does, at least it's saying something. Bro, if listen. Getting, Adam. And you're, you're one of the worst teams. No, we're not, bro. We just went to the championship. We semi-nationals. We're Dude, in the top I, three. 
You don't even know who's in the league. <laughs> Semi-national top three, bro. <laughs> For NFL. We're the NFL with an E. Um, listen, bro. I'm glad it makes you happy. That's what I, I will say that. If it makes you happy, keep doing it, bro. Because there's nothing I want more in life than your happiness. Honestly. I want you to be happy. Uh-huh. I want you to do what you love. I'm serious. No, I'm serious. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not joking here. Um, I will say. So don't some- you want, you want to see me be happy? Come to a game. Mitch, see me be happy. I, I, I was, saw, I saw you be happy in high school. That's enough for me. Let's just say that. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to interfere with, with your storm football playing. It's not me. If you enjoy it, that should be all that matters. Honestly, um, good for you. Maybe it's it's good that you have things that keep you happy in life. Um, you know, whatever. All right, back to Lamar Jackson because Austin wants to talk about him. Colts. Ooh. Why? Well, what? tell me why. Baltimore's not paying him what he wants. Colts have a lot of talent, a lot of underrated talent, if you will. You got Jonathan Taylor, okay? He was out most of the season. He didn't do that good this year. But um, you got Paris Campbell, um, stud wide receiver. He's, he's underrated. Their de- their offensive line is amazing. Their defense is semi immaculate. Semi. Now, are we saying immaculate or immaculate? Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think Colts would be a uh, very good fit for Lamar Jackson. Um, my other thought was Denver. Uh, I think. Uh... But I think. I think the Broncos are too stupid enough to stick with Russell Wilson. I think that uh, Sean Payton's going to turn it around. You ever watch? You, so? you ever watch Home Team, starring Kevin James, about Sean Payton? Mm-hmm. Great film. Um, I think Sean Payton can turn it around personally. Personally, I mean, well, I Doug Doug, I Pe- so. Doug Peterson turned it around with uh, Jacksonville. That he did so. Andy Reid turned it around with the Chiefs. <clears throat> well, aside from the script. Oh, let's get into this. <coughs> Mitchell, I haven't talked to you about this. Do we think the NFL is scripted? There's been a lot of memes, a lot of things going around the internet. Um, so I was watching, I was watching, you know, the uh, Pat McAfee show? Yeah. So they were talking about the NFL being scripted and. I kind of, I don't know, I'm somewhere in the middle. Some of this stuff does seem scripted, but at the end of the day, you know how hard it would be to keep that uh, a scripted game a secret? Like, it's going to be leaked. Illuminati. And there's a lot of stuff out there that people say, oh, yeah, it's scripted because of this, and it's scripted because of that. <laughs> and I'm somewhere in the middle, but, I mean, there, to go into a game and have it scripted, a lot would have to go into that. Weeks and weeks of preparation. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's almost the like the WWE. The so it's it. it's scripted. They have to go through weeks and months of going over what they're gonna do. Their stunts and they do it every Same thing week. Same with the NFL, but the WWE does it every week. Why couldn't the NFL? All well, I, I don't great. know. I'm saying I'm somewhere in the middle. I I just think the NFL has a bigger I don't know. I think it does. I think the NFL has a bigger. Uh, I know what game than the WWE. was scripted. What game was scripted? Tell me, Austin. The Bengals and Chiefs game. Yeah, that was 100% scripted. And I'm still mad about that. Yep. Dude, those calls were bogus. Bogus. And it makes me sick. And Zach is, is biting to say something. I so, think I think the semi pro uh referees can do better than that. Listen, uh it depends on who's rough and dude. It's crazy to me because uh <laughs> We went down to Rhode Island and they didn't know what the hell they were doing. What was that guy's name that that coached the uh that co- he coached the uh 
or not a coach. He refed. What Ronald Torbert? Yeah. The man wears glasses but couldn't see a good play if it punched him in the throat. Explain to me, Mr. Ronald Torbert. And explain Alex. to me, and I'm going back into this. I'm going to go back into this. You're going to tell me that it's not scripted when this is the situation. We got, for the first time ever, two brothers facing off in the Super Bowl. Travis Kelsey versus his brother. Not his, to mention. What? I'm not, not done to yet. mention. I'm not done yet. Let me finish. I let thought you are done with the quarterbacks, I'm not done bro. yet. For the first time ever in the NFL as well, we have two quarterbacks facing off against each other that are both African-American. Good for you guys. Um, And then we have, oh, in February, which also happens to be Black History Month. And then we have, um, oh, I don't know, a guy named Andy Reid who was fired by the Eagles, went to the Chiefs. And guess who the the Eagles head coach is? That's right, uh, Nick Sirianni. Who did Nick Sirianni work for before the Eagles? Oh, you guessed it, the Chiefs. Mm, It gets a little bit better, though. Where are they playing at? Where are they playing at? Where are they playing at? State Farm Stadium. State? Farm Stadium. Who's the face of State Farm? Oh, it's this little guy named Kermit the Frog Mahomes. Also goes by Patrick. And I'll tell you what. If that ain't scripted, I don't know what is, boy. That's got a better script than any Shakespeare play you'll ever read. And that's a fact. Say something, Zach. Say something. Say something. Bro, I think it's great that you have all those things that can add up to a conspiracy theory. As the great Alex Jones does over on InfoWars.com. I'll tell you right now, Joe. I'll tell you right now, Joe. The NFL is running the games. There's no chance the NFL is I'm going to have to get off. So, But you already know I got Eagles. Um, And uh, what's the the score? Give us the score. Eagles. 32 to 21. All right. You heard it here first, folks. Go Raiders. Go Raiders. <laughs> All right, guys. See ya, See ya Austin. All right, All right. Let's give our – us three. Then there were three. Let's just give our predictions for the Super Bowl. It's a game I don't want to watch. Oh, my gosh. Drop my phone. It's a game I don't want to watch at all. It's – not going to interest me at all, but I want the Eagles to beat the Kansas City Queefs um, because I can't stand them. So give me the Eagles, and we're going to say a score of uh, – I'm going to pull a Zach here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 45 – to three. Ooh. Big Zach vibes. Big Zach energy. Now, Mitch, you already picked the Eagles. Is that correct? Yes. And what was your what score, was your... Mullet? I think I said 31 to 24, somewhere along yeah, those lines. Yeah, it sounds accurate. It sounds like what you said. Very. Yeah, man. So... I, think, I think the Eagles might be able to just pull away with the victory by maybe like a score and – Possibly a field goal. Depends on how the game goes. <clears throat> right. Now, normally in this situation, I would pull a Zach move. Mm. And in the sense that everyone's going with the Eagles, I should go with the Chiefs. But I, I ask myself, who do I really want to win this game? When it's 9 o'clock at night and I'm feeling it's myself. It's 9 got, o'clock on a Saturday. The regular crowd shuffles in. And Zach is ready to make his pick. Who in this game's gonna win? La da dee da 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 La da dee da dee da Go ahead, Zach. And please, I got buffalo sauce and blue cheese all over my face. <laughs> making love to my Gin. Make Ooh, do love I want it? to his tonic and gin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who do I want to see win in the game? And it's 
it's got to be Jalen Hurts and the Eagles, man. I got the Eagles. Philadelphia takes home another championship, and it's going to be, you know, about like 36 to like 29, bro. 36 to 29. Write it down. That's the one. All right. Anything else you boys want to talk about or mention? Yeah, I want to say real quick that live on air, I'm calling him out. Adam Malchuk needs to go and see Mitchell play semi-pro football. Give him some love. Give him his flowers. Maybe buy him a little bouquet, you know. Give him a nice time. At least pop out to a game so you know what you're talking about. Because, buddy, when it comes to the semi-pro part, you don't really know what you're talking about. <laughs> you don't really and know. I'm honestly okay with don't. that. I'm honestly okay with you not doing anything about semi-pro football. I'm okay with that. <laughs> it really doesn't change my day-to-day you, life. Like you think it's just this like this it's just like these high schoolers that couldn't couldn't make it. That's not true. That's we had what, guys that were recruited to big name colleges like Syracuse then that didn't necessarily make it. That at least can, they got that far. Mitch, can I That's give an argument for something? Mitch, can I give an argument for Adam here though? Me and Adam went out there in uh, North Adams, Massachusetts, in the Valley, and played against a, a few semi-pro guys. And, you know, me and Adam were fresh off of, like, having a lot of spaghetti and meatballs. A lot, a lot of, uh, lot of uh, Machine Gun Shelly's pasta was devoured. We're, we're those kind of guys. We're not in any kind of shape at all. Zach right? was smoking we on were, the sidelines. I had a beer on the, <laughs> and at halftime. Like, those are who we, we are. Out there. We That's because you're at North Adams. I'm just saying. We listen, were there were, listen, there Troy, were – No, 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 stop. Dude. There were guys on there each of some... our teams that were played for Storm and were semi-pro. Who? Uh, Unique Besides was Austin. there. Austin was there. I think there was one other guy. I can't remember his name. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dissing Unique by any means. I'm not at all. It sounds like he's about to he diss him. Wasn't a, he wasn't a star. Okay. He and wasn't you, by and, any means a star. And you don't dude. start. He's not, he's and not, you don't start. <laughs> I don't start. I'm the only guy. I have well, started a few games, listen. but I don't start every game. Mitchell, we've had this you conversation. Don't a few... know. Okay. And again, you come out to a legit pads game. It's not going to happen. Legit players. It's okay. just not going to happen, happen, brother. Um, but I still love you and, uh, I'm still going to continue to beat you at Madden. I got a new Xbox. So we're going to play a new version of Madden where we'll have modern teams. You know, I'll play as Joe Burrow, show you what I got and it'll be a grand old time, but Mitchell, I love you, buddy. Um, and I'm glad playing semi-pro makes you happy. There are things that make me happy. And one of them is roasting semi-pro. So just let me have this one thing and I'll let you have yours. Okay. No, you like roasting me, and you know that's true. And you like roasting me, and you know that's true. No, no, no. no. I'll go along with you. You just like to tear me apart, man, and I am so used to it. Mitchell, we have known each other since it's we were true. literal babies. Like You you tear me apart all the time. Mitchell, I have dealt with it my entire the, life. The first time I met you, you were in kindergarten, bro. What do you expect? If I know you like first that, grade. bro, if, if I – listen, I think it's safe to say that of all of my friends – Mitchell has the most dirt on me, and I probably have the most dirt on him. It's a good thing Mitchell and I are friends because we could probably ruin each other's lives. Is that is that fair? Oh God, that's why I won't move in with you. because ah. it would end disastrous. It'd be a good time, bro. It'd be a good time. But all right, fellas. Yeah, maybe once a month. <laughs> heck of a, heck of an episode. Um. That's the season wrap up. Nobody's going to care what we have to say after the Super Bowl. So this Nobody. is season wrap up. We hope you enjoyed the podcast this season. Um, this has been your place for all news, drama, and updates on the NFL. We hope again you've enjoyed our show. Subscribe to Penford Media. There's lots of new content coming out. Um, give us a follow on Facebook, Instagram, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, once and for all, this is Adam signing off. Have a great night, America.